How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex. We're going to be going over Tesla stock, which has suppressed $1,000 per share, as we can see, up 12% on the day. Huge move up $115. Um, and it's just exploding in the market, as we can see on the charts right here. Past year up 146%. Pretty big stuff right here. Uh, it is up 2,400% in the past five years. Uh, it did undergo a five for one split. So without the split, Tesla is was roughly around $5,000 as of right now. Past three months, 55%. Past month, 30%. So Tesla really has been on a really nice uptrend this past few months. Um, and people are really anticipating earnings for last week week which actually had some pretty good earnings um as you can see here they beat estimates which is pretty amazing and by a pretty big amount as well so even with the pandemic and the shortages tesla still manages to come out on top so which is very good uh and they have some very good guidance uh and a lot of people do believe in tesla even people who do not believe in it to it prior now are becoming Tesla believers. Um, Michael Burry exited his short position on Tesla. Uh, and as we can see here, it was a very good thing he did so. Otherwise, he would have lost a lot of money. Um, but Tesla making some astronomical moves in the market. 52-week um, low of 379, 52-week high of 1,045. Um, if Tesla keeps going up and up, we can potentially see another stock split. Uh, just to lower the price of Tesla, make it a little more attractive for um, smaller investors with smaller accounts. Um, and that's also good when the stock price is a bit cheaper, just because um, I like to sell options. And to sell options, you do need to put down enough collateral to cover 100 shares. Uh, as we can see, my position, 630 cash here put for Tesla expiring next week. November 5th, uh, and I opened it for around, roughly around two, so it was between 200 and $300 per uh, contract. I sold one. Did have to put down $63,000 of collateral, but I'm pretty fine with the return. It's pretty safe. Um, but right now, we have to be careful. Um, it's been making moves, and this is a really steep upwards movement, as we can see here. So, my guess is long term tesla is definitely a really solid company to buy and hold but the short term it may pull back and you can sell some put credit spreads on tesla uh not put credit spreads call credit spreads um on tesla something like eleven hundred dollars strike would be pretty good um you can sell the for example you could do this Sell the one for sell the ten ninety, buy the ten eleven hundred. Total credit one ninety dollars. Um, collateral is going to be a thousand dollars, so that's going to be a nineteen percent return in a week and a half, which is pretty good. Um, it it is due for a slight pullback. People are going to want to take profits. You take a look at Wall Street bets. It's the most talked about stock right now. A lot of people are posting their gains. And when that happens, stock kind of likes to take a nice pullback. It has to relax a little bit while people end up selling positions to cash in on their profits. Um, so this is something that you could do to kind of make money um, on Tesla. Um, so Tesla surpassing $1 trillion in market value. Off of some news that happened over the weekend, Hertz is actually ordering 100,000 vehicles, electric vehicles for their fleet, which is a pretty substantial amount. Um, a lot of people do, all right, this is really good news for Tesla. They're going to get really good business from, from Hertz, um, a major bulk purchase, and it can help Tesla get more of its cars into the hands of mainstream consumers. Because the people who are renting out the vehicles from Hertz, they're going to be walking into these vehicles, and it's basically like a test drive. Uh, they're probably going to fall in love with it, and then themselves are going to consider purchasing a Tesla themselves 
which is going to give Tesla even more consumers to their vehicles. Um, and Tesla is far ahead of the competition uh, than any other auto manufacturer. And what's interesting is the time to reach one trillion market cap is substantially lower than all these other fang companies so we got google 21 years apple 25 24 years uh amazon 24 years apple 42 years microsoft 44 years so it took a relatively small amount of time compared to these other companies showing that this company has rapid growth and innovation so very good growth stock for the long term but you do have to be careful we're sitting at all-time highs the stock could um, cool down a little bit while people take profits. Uh, so we have to see what happens for the short term. So that's about it for this video. If it helped in any way, please leave a like, comment down below your thoughts are on Tesla, and of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.